hello and welcome back to the Taco video. In this one, we're going to be placing this um, black wheel door trim that's only specific to the long wheelbase versions of the Lincoln Town Cars. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure why this is so long. Even I don't know. Uh, it's either wind resistance or does help with protect with protection or rain, something. But mine, when I got it, is cracked. Pretty bad. Uh, this is one, I believe this was out of an 03 or 04 Ultimate L, I believe. It's so sad to see Ultimate L um, perish, but the, it's down in Florida, but it's helping out another one. It's helping out mine anyway. Uh, pretty strange how this is holding up with the factory is this double sided tape they sticked all over the place on it. Just let it focus on some part numbers here for you. I believe there's. I thought there was another one. I think it's on the other side. So we're going to be removing this piece. Probably have to take apart this molding and might also need to remove this. I hopefully not though, but if I do, I will. But yeah, we want to, this is just it's supposed to be more flexible than that. But yeah, you definitely see that. I believe there was some sort of impact right here that cracked it. Cause this stuff from this is uh, pretty flexible, but I wanted to show you the other one because I had another sticker on it. Now that we have it all taped up using most of my Gorilla Glue, this is the most expensive, strongest Gorilla Glue I can find at Menards, and it's doing pretty well. I'm using this to also hold in the uh, satellite sense uh, satellite antenna that I got attached to the defrost panel. But let's move this over. So I got it lined up almost pretty much where I want it to be kind of definitely flush with this uh, paint on the exterior and then also tucked into the cowling on the sides. Uh, here uh, I had to remove this a little bit more so just pop this out this way and then do a little bit of this. If you'd like some extra room definitely probably remove this but these clips on here that you probably will break if they're still on here from the factory. Luckily you can buy like a bag of 50 of them on eBay. Just look up Ford, uh, I don't know, weather strip plastic retainers you can find them you can even find the ones for the doors too and the door panels but we're going to just start from right to left taking off the tape and slowly kind of just lightly holding it on there and then for the final press we're just pressing on there in each spot Ford used some pretty strong devil sided tape that i finally managed to get off so what we're going to be doing just like the factory when i took off well both in my factory is putting a double strand double piece of strand tape going all across right here and then for the A pillar going straight down and then big blob right here on the corner over there. Here it is so this is the left driver side got a supplier there and also a port number 2004 so that's the port number of this so this was either made or revised in the 2004 model year well actually it would be 2005 model year that they made in 04 because they assembled these yeah, this was assembled 05, 2005, but it was 2006 model year. I hope you're trying to understand what I'm getting at. But let's start removing this stuff. Got my car cover here. I need to slight move out of the way so I can open up this driver's door. And that also gives us access to this B pillar. Now this B pillar, this piece, plastic piece is also on the standard ones, but it's more of a uh, soft finish on it. Well, this one is just attached to the whole thing. So let's just tear this right off. Not much to it, just double-sided tape. Now we're gonna have a lot of fun removing in the process. Oh, oh. See the mess it left? Don't worry, I got really strong double-sided tape that we're gonna hold this on with. Just as I probably said, the dull trim, some of the trim did need to come off, this dull molding right here. See the B pillar inside of it. And we'd see the, yeah, somebody hit this really hard. Yeah, just flaking paint on me. So we're going to have to coat that. Looks like you just got the clue coat. The base coat, the T7 black, is still in okay shape. Very strainy. To help with the ease of putting this on here, I'm not taking the uh, plastic side off all the way. Just leaving a little bit hanging off so that way I can line it up. See, this, this spot's nice and flush with this indent right here. And then for the top piece, the, especially the longest one, 
I just have a push and taken off and here is the spot that I just pull on as I push up here and kind of gently get everything into place. So now that this is in, I can grab this and press it down in there. And this side is now secure. Oh, this section is. So you really want to take your time with this one. I had double-sided tape going up to here. I took it off, lined it up, snug against here, and don't forget to cut, tuck in the little plastic piece, and then press it on. Make sure there's a little flap right here that goes like this. Make sure to push it up in there. And it is pretty much almost dead on with this uh, little raised lip. So as we pull, we'll push up as well. And we're done. Well, installing this anyway, we still got trim moldings to do. But just like I said, remove tape as you go and I'll push it down You know, as you go. Make sure to line everything up. And I'd say it's very nice and secure. And keep going down and pushing. Ooh, wobbly. Right here. I guess the only little mistake I had is this piece right here. I guess needs to be pushed down or a flat just a little bit more on this way because I'm not liking that too much. But uh, I think I can live with it. I can try putting another piece of a little plastic uh, double side tape right through here and push down and see if that makes any difference. But I'd say it looks pretty nice. So let's get the molding back on. Oof, look at that color difference. Post it exposed and then put the hasn't. Probably not much I can do about this since it's rubber. Very, very, very nice. I love it. And now I made a mess. I wanna keep plastic everywhere. Probably not the most cheapest double sided tape out there, but definitely one of the one of the better ones. Not saying it's the best. Somebody needs to do research on that. I do have the left side, the left side is fine. So I'm just gonna keep it still stowed away. I got a cookout to go to. So we can start probably cleaning up here. Also I did buy a steamer. You we'll probably see that later in a quick Hello video, probably the one right after this. Thanks for watching and have a good one. And I'd say we are done. So that is another thing finished on the Lincoln. There's that little piece of double side of tape right there. Let's see if this does anything. Push it down in there. Eh, it comes up a little bit, but it's just sticking there pretty nice.